What's up everybody, welcome to another video in the series and in this video we'll be solving the next problem which is called grading students. So let's read it out. Uh, so the problem statement says, Hackerland University has the following grading policy. Every student receives a grade in the inclusive range from 0 to 100. Okay, any grade less than 40 is a failing grade. Okay, Sam is a professor, Sam is a professor at the university and likes to round each student's grade according to these rules. Okay. If the difference between the grade and the next multiple of 5 is less than 3, round grade up to the next multiple of 5. Okay. Uh, if the value of grade is less than 38, no rounding occurs as the result will still be a failing grade. Okay. So, and then there are some examples. So, if grade equals 84, we are going to round to 85 because uh, 84 and the next multiple of 5, which is 85, it has a difference of 1 only, right? So that is less than 3, so we are going to round it off to 85. The next example is grade equals 29. Now, even if we round it off to the next number, which is uh, the next multiple of 5, which is 30, uh, it's still a failing grade. So we, we are not going to round this one. So, okay, so we are going to leave it as is. The next example is 57. Now, the difference uh, between the next multiple of 5, which is 60, and 57 is 3. So it is equal to 3 but not less than 3, right? So it has to be less than 3 for, for it to be rounded off. So we are going to leave it as is as well. So we are just going to print 57. If we, I mean, any number which ends uh, on a 7 will be, you know, will be printing it out uh, without doing anything. So given the initial value of grade for each of Sam's n students, write code to automate the rounding process. Okay, so function des uh, description, complete the function. Okay, okay, okay. We're not going to do that. That's too much work. Returns int n, the grades are rounding as appropriate. Okay, constraints n is going to be between 1 to 60. Easy peasy. Grades will be between 0 to 100. Okay, the sample output, the sample input. So four, meaning four numbers. Okay, so four, uh, the marks of four students. So we have 73, 67, 38, 33, and the output will be 73 will be changed to 75, 67 will be 67, 38 will be 40, right, because this is equal to 38, it's not less than 38, right? Here it says uh, if it is less than 38, we don't have to round it off, right? So 38 will be rounded off to 40, and 33, that's 33, because it's still a failing grade, even if we round it off to 35, okay. So we don't need to go through the explanation as I think it's uh, fairly simple. So let's just go ahead and delete all of this. Uh, so the first line will be the number of students. So let's just call it n for now. Uh, do input. Okay. And then uh, we are going to loop through this. So for underscore in range, oops, in range n we are going to input the number, right? So it's just simply going to be marks, or let's call it grade, uh, and then it's going to be another another integer input, right? So let's just pass it into a function. We're going to create a function uh, called round. Okay, you can't call it round as it's a um, predefined keyword. So let's call it let's call it round off. Okay, round off. It's round off, right? Yeah, and then we say grade. So that's going to be the input. Let's do pass for now. So we'll be defining it in a bit. So this is the grade. We'll be passing it to the round of function, right? And then we are simply going to print it out, right? So we will simply print out the rounded off grade. Okay, so let's, uh, let's write down the logic for the rounding off process. So we already know that if the grade is less than 38, we don't have to do anything. So we say if grade is less than 38, right, return grade. So we're not going to do anything uh, in this case. We'll simply return the same number. And if it is not less than 38, meaning that it will be more than 38, right? So in that case, what we will do is uh, we will see what the difference is between the next multiple of 5 and grade of the student right so we do okay so what we can do here is uh, we can do grade modulo 5 right and that should give us the uh, the difference so let's say we have 33 here so 33 modulo 5 will be 3 right because 5 times 6 is 30 with the remainder will be 3 right and 3 
if uh, the and the difference is equal to three it's not less than three right so we're not going to round it off but if it had been 34 then the this thing would be would be four okay right so if it is four or if it is zero in that case we will round it off but if it is 33 let's say the remainder is 3 or it's 2 right or it's 1 in that in those cases we're not going to do anything right so what we're going to do let's just do a grade modulo 5 okay and let's do if grade modulo 5 is uh, greater than or equal to 4 right so that means that let's say it's uh, the number is 44 or uh, actually okay so greater than or okay so it's uh, if it is equal to 4 or grade modulo 5 is equal to 0 in these cases one sec if it is 5 already we're not going to do anything right so we are going to, okay so okay so the number can also be uh, like 48 for example right it can also be 49 so in these cases as well uh, instead of doing this we need to find out another uh, solution because uh, that's just too much coding. Um, let me think of a simpler solution. So for numbers like 39, uh, 48, there are, yeah, 38 also, we're going to round them off. If it is 44, if it is 43, 40, will 43 be rounded off? Yes, it will be. Okay. Hmm. So what we have to do is we have to see how do we find out the next multiple of 5 how do we do that okay so for 43 that's 2 uh, 2 away from 45 right so how do we find the next multiple of 5 well for doing that we'll simply okay so what we can do here is we can do grade modulo 5 right and we can subtract it from from 5 and why will that work this will work because let's say okay so we do 5 minus let's say that the grade was 48 right so 48 modulo 5 what will this give us this will give us 3 right because 5 times 9 is 45 and 48 minus 5 that will be 3 so 3 is the remainder so we simply this will be replaced by 3 and 5 minus 3 that's 2 right and 2 is less than 3 so we will be rounding off rounding it off to the next number so we'll simply add this number right so let's just do this okay so if this number actually let's uh, let's actually store it somewhere so let's do um let's call it difference or a diff and if diff is less than or equal to two what we're going to do is we're simply going to return uh, grade plus difference and that should work right so, okay, so let's uh, let's take an example. So, uh, for examples, we have uh, 73, 67, 38, and 33. Let's just do a dry run. Okay, so if, if when we get 73, 73 is not less than 38. So, this if block will not be executed. will come here, down here, right? So, 5 minus 73 modulo 5, which is 3. 5 modulo 5 minus 3 is will give us 2, right? And it is less than equal, and equal to 2 right so so the difference was 2 so we will simply add 2 to grade which is 75 73 plus 2 that's 75 and we'll return 75 and then that will be printed out here in case of 67 5 minus 67 modulus 5 67 modulus 5 will give us 2 right because we can get to 65 and then that's the uh, or the, the I mean the next multiple will, uh, will be 70 right so okay so 70 um, okay 67 um okay so that gives us a three wait a second what will that give us let me just do a simple check so let's do 67 modulo 5 that gives us a 2 right and 5 minus 2 is 3 and it is not less than or and equal to 2 so we'll simply print 67 which is what we want right in case of 38 also uh we'll simply do 38 modulo 5 it will be 3 right so 5 minus 3 that's 2 so we'll simply add 2 to the grade which is 40 and we'll print 40 right and in case of 33 this block will be executed so because it is less than 38 right and we'll simply return 33 okay so it should work uh, so let's uh, just simply do 
run code first and if that works okay it's not working none oh one sec what am i doing here return great plus tokens in this case we're doing that um okay so in case of 67 okay and if that's not the case right so we'll simply return grade why are we doing this because okay in case of 67 what's happening is it's not less than 38 right and 5 minus 67 modulo 5 it's not less than and equal to 2 okay so neither this block is executing nor this one so it's just coming out so it's not returning anything and that's why it printed none there so in that case we simply return the grade right so let's do run again and this time it should work okay it's working let's submit it because i don't think anything's wrong with my code uh okay so all the test cases are passing and that's that's one solution for this question so yeah that's it so if you have any questions regarding uh, this video or anything uh, in the approach you can put them down in the comments below if you have any improvement that you might want to suggest you can put those down in the comments below as well and if you like the video like and subscribe and i'll see you in the next one thanks for watching